And here we are again at the start of another broadcast day. It is New Game Plus, 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 Plus. That's five. Five pluses. New Game. Do they call that plus five? Or would plus five mean six because it's plus and five? Or just plus five? New Game Plus One? New Plus Five. New Game Plus Five. Yeah, okay, I guess we could go with that. And we've already RNG'd in the last video. We go into the Jemison, the Lodge, and what do we get? We're greeted with a bobble. We're greeted with a Cora Ko. Uh-oh, Miss Ko? Or at least we don't know that until we get closer. Cora? Yeah, wrong. I never let Sam die, not in any universe I've been to. She is not happy. Artifact location slate. Which I believe... Yes. Six. Six of the same locations, I think. Pretty much... Pretty much an expedited playthrough again. Now... Where are we here? Let's go back here, because I saw their dialogue options. Let's explore them, shall we? After the word from the load screen. Oh, oh, it's not that bad, is it? You know what? Just to expedite this a bit, let's uh, uh, drop one of these right here. Your father? Your father, question mark? Why would... Oh. Oh, boy. <laughs> now, we know what happens if you go that. But if we go, wait, hold on, let's talk about this. She freaking gets hostile. Oh, come on. It won't give me the menu here. Okay, so we need to maybe um, implement a few, you know, I have managed to fend this off before, but it does not bode well. Okay, we're, we're starting off strong with some health, but if we go down here, grab, oh geez, it's only one emergency kit this time. <gasps> Wait, it RNGs different guns. So what is this gun that I just RNG'd here? An advanced tombstone with 94, but I only have 27 rounds. So... This is the this is the tricky part here now. Oh, wait, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay. So, run downstairs. You have weapon RNG which is quite interesting. Um, yeah. It's, that had two trauma packs in it last time I attempted this, and up there was a Grendel. Just a little Grendel. Do you know how hard it was to take down these people with just a Grendel? And here we are. We start with Secret Outpost. Oh, geez, we could go right straight to do the freaking what's-her-face. No, what is her face again? I'm... I haven't got the best memory. The Mantis. 50 caliber. This gun's 11 millimeter, I do believe. So. An advanced Kodama. She has all these artifacts. Plus 11 millimeter and a calibrated AA9. 
which is funny because, oh, no, here's the advanced mag shear. I remember someone had an advanced mag shear last time. And I also had this annoying situation where I kept bleeding out. Someone here in this party has something a little bit more. Nothing here has any buffs. I guess that was just the last time I tried it. Like last night, I tried to come up with a strategy on how to, oops, how to defeat these, these individuals with no weapons. Because you start with no weapons, no health packs, no nothing. And even though I'm level, what am I at now? 115? It's still hard to fight with no weapons. Now, I have no reason to fight here, so I'm going to reload and restart this. Wait, do we have constellation quests? I guess I'm not a member of constellation in this universe. Okay. I have no reason to kill her, obviously, because... I actually haven't killed Sam Coe in any previous universe. Or haven't let him die. Sarah, on the other hand, well, she took a dive. And it's funny because I thought you had to kill Sam Coe to spawn this reality. I had plans with one of my last long-form New Game Plus playthroughs to actually, as, as much as it disturbs me to say, sacrifice Sam Coe to spawn this reality. But apparently you don't need to do that. There's no version of me. There's no version of me. So we get all this stuff. She has an A9. I wonder, like, just out of curiosity here, if I do a quick save and if I get hostile against these spacers. Well, hold on here. I should probably make myself more known. Okay, same RNG. A must RNG when you open the door. Soba on a comm relay and an emergency kit. I have an opossum dagger and a cutter. So, spacer with advanced mag shear. Yeah, she gets hostile. She's got surprisingly not a lot of HP for... Hey. Hey, I'm bleeding out again. What is it that I get hit with that causes me to bleed out like this? I've never had this happen like any other time in the game. Advanced Kodama. And there we go. Down. Down Delio. Where are they going to reload me? Back here? What happens if I keep... Now, is she just always going to be here now? Is that the kind of party we're dealing with? She's just always going to be there, hanging out at the lodge, just commiserating, sulking, being general. She turned into an emo kid. Yeah. So one thing worth mentioning is when I did spawn the fight once before, there was this circumstance where I ran out the door and they didn't follow me. So I think there is some slight... Wait, there's an upstairs. I've never been... What? I have never, in all my hours in this game, been up here. That's hilarious. But yeah, I guess it's understood that you can't fight her. And if uh, violence spawns, you can run away. 
assuming you're not completely weak, you just run out the door behind you, and then they don't follow you. She just stays here. And it's funny because you don't need a key to get downstairs. Usually that area is locked under most circumstances. Report on Constellation. I wonder if this is um interesting. Is this um different to this reality? And although Constellation's relevance has been a subject of much debate amongst New Atlantis intelligista, intelligentsia, what the hell's, I've never heard that word in my life. The disappearance of the founder, Sebastian Banks, was a blow. Most felt the organization couldn't survive. In fact, Constellation disbanding seemed imminent until member Chloe Bao changed her vote in the 11th hour, thus ensuring the group's continued operation, at least for the time being. I bet you that was here the whole time, and I just never noticed it before. It's like, one of the first to, uh, Sebastian Banks speech, I've heard this one. Well, I've heard Stroud say it. I've never bothered exploring around here. Like, I have a little bit, but I always just kind of maintained my boundaries. Like, I didn't go thieving people's stuff. So, I guess it's all fair game now. Whose room would this have been? Huh. Ooh, okay. Benzene... I'll just take it all because we need to sell it for money. We need to sell it for money along with a, a fishbowl. Like kind of maybe need to find those fish a new home. Whose room is this now? There's a plushie. There's a punching bag. Economic meltdown. A toy spaceship. This side up. I'm not aware of this being Andreja's room. Someone into punk and exercise. Or punching, anyway. Oh, this is a storeroom. A spare room. I've been to every room downstairs but not upstairs. Oh! Why do I think this might be Sarah's room, actually? There's absolutely no hints to what is what here. Barrett, maybe? This looks like it would be... um. The religious kid whose name, Second Journal, Sir Livingstone's Second Journal. Visit the Apollo landmark on Luna. Oh, that opened up a new door for us that I've never been to before. Maybe I'm just going to go straight there after. This looks like a posh room. Is there anything behind the bar that I've never noticed before? Another Sir Livingston's journal. I wonder if I can find links or, you know, whatever activates all the landmarks here. Because I ought to go check them out. Like, this is going to be an expedited playthrough. It's going to be like really super, super boring. Just another three or four hours of hammering at it and just you know, doing the same damn stuff. Chrono watch case. Fancy watch case. Moby Dick. Nicholas Nickleby. They put all these books in my room. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. This is Andreja's room inaccessible. I remember because she had weapons in her room. I remember talking to her here before. Is that it? Have I seen all the rooms? That goes out to the bar. Because I figure I'm just going to do the rounds. Oh yeah, we go around in a circle here. 
I'm just going to do the rounds. Finding all the relative loot that I could find here. So, oh, look, darts that we can't actually. Three copies of Nicholas Nickleby. I wish I knew what that was. Barrett's Privateers here. Yeah, I guess I'll just search her out a bit and then we'll we'll go look at Luna. Okay, so I just noticed when I went through this door, it used the lodge key. So I think there's totally a thing going on here where... Mm hmm. The doors get unlocked when you go into the combat, right? I guess that, that's how that works. Random adaptive frames. And this thing, I'm not officially a member of Constellation. I guess I didn't get the fancy watch. There are cats here. Right there. Look at the kitty. Why don't we see this? There's no freaking cats in this game. At least in previous games, they had a dog, but they had cats in Fallout 3. Why is there no cats here? We need more cats. So did they seriously land on the dark side of the moon? Or is it just my luck? It's dark time here now. I don't know if the moon rotates. But yeah, I guess that's what I would expect to see. This was left behind. There would have been a launch platform. Whoa. Apollo snow globe. Whoa, what is this? Mission status activities. Oh, I guess it goes away once you find the snow globe. So this entire assembly lands... But then this piece gets left behind, and then the head blew off back up. There's probably like little bits of debris left behind. Like whatever the hell this thing is. I don't know what that thing is, but it's probably something. And then a bit of a solar panel. I guess there would have been bits of equipment they would have brought with them. And then there's this thing. Uh, surprising physics for the moon. I wonder if it's still up there looking good like that. Or if it's deteriorated. Hmm. That would be interesting to know. I wonder if anyone can like take pictures. Like from a, a satellite or something. Disappointing that it's in the dark. And I bet those are, well, there's no atmosphere, so there'd be no wind. So I imagine it probably would be just like that now. Hmm. Well, that's the artifact, or not the artifact. That's Luna for ya. Apparently there's probably like, more points to find in and around this place. Like, that's not the only time they landed on the moon, right? Obviously. But the game, I don't know. It doesn't really just straight up tell you. And I just realized I have my... Oh my god. I just realized I had my desktop audio muted this whole time. Wow, that's going to be an amazing video. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you, but either I reshoot or I just leave it flawed like this. This game's kind of wearing me out because doing these new games is very repetitive. Especially the expedited playthroughs. You're not really inspired to play the game more. You just kind of want to get through it until you can spawn a different reality where you know maybe uh it makes it interesting to do a long form because you have different companions or something goes different with you know different 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 but now i'm just 
blowing through these expedited playthroughs, trying to make my way to New Game 10 and or see all the different realities since I have a mod on that lets me spawn it. So, yeah, I don't feel like reshooting that now. Maybe another time. Like, subscribe, come back for more. I don't know. Come back for more. Oh, accidentally turning off the audio. Yeah. <laughs>